there we have our sidebar and it's another way of presenting things on your website without using any third party plugins other than Elementor Pro. Obviously you would have done this in a header template. So you would have gone into WordPress Elementor templates, add you gone into header and then created there. I'm just gonna do it on a page because this is a test website and I've got so many headers floating around. But here's how simple and easy this is to do. We are gonna go and insert into here a container like this. I'm gonna rename this to say desktop uh, container. I mean, you could probably call it desktop sidebar. The reason being is whatever you do for the desktop, you don't really kinda of wanna have the same thing on the mobile unless you're happy to eat away into your mobile estate. It's probably just gonna be a sticky header at the top there. So we're just gonna go for a desktop container at the moment. I'm gonna set this to be a full width. Now, even though it is set to the side, let me show you what happens if you go with a boxed width. In fact, let's just give this a background color as well. And if I decide that this is only gonna be 200 pixels wide, can you see here, it's changed there. And you might go, well, that's okay, I'll just align the items. It doesn't really do much. In fact, even if I was to go and drop in a header like that, you wanna turn this into a full width. Okay, so full width, and then you set the width of this now to be, well, you decide now, you can use EM, REM, you can use VW, you can use what you want. I'm gonna be very prescriptive and say, I don't want this to be any more than 200 pixels in width. So now only this is gray, not everything over here, okay? It's just that bit. And then I'm gonna to go to the advanced tab, go to where it says position, and I'm gonna say set this to be fixed, and it will kind of move over to that side. Look, horizontally, you can go to the right-hand side, which it is just now over there, or we can go to the left. We can even shove it at the bottom as well. I'm just gonna position it to be left and top. Let's go back to the layout for our container. We did not set the height. So now we're gonna go with a 100 VH, and I now have a bar but it's gonna stick there on the side. That is how simple and easy it was. And it doesn't matter what content I now add into this page, that is always gonna be there. The reason why I like to go with 200 pixel is because I now know that whenever I'm building anything else in my website, I'm always going to ensure that I have like a left margin of 200. So now whenever I'm building anything else now, I might have an image or I might have text, always ensure that you have got at least 200. Because if you don't do 200, okay, and let's now go and say I, I added in another item onto the page. So let's go and drop in another grid like this. And we ensure the image is all full width. And I'm now gonna make this desktop container have a higher Z index. Can you see what's happened here? That person that was over there has now been completely eradicated, erased. If I put in 200 padding onto that container with the image, it is now visible. And this is where you might want to decide, well, actually, you're going to have it at 260 and you would modify your background colors and your content and whatever you got in there. That's pretty important. But the key thing is we now have a sidebar and we can do whatever we want in there. Hey, let's go and position everything to be in the center like that. Let's drop in the WordPress menu below the heading there, stylize it how you want. And because this is gonna be on the desktop, I actually don't wanna have any breakpoint because we're gonna have a different menu here. You can go and drop in social sharing icons, drop in a video, a subscription form. You could drop in images. You could even drop in a blog post. It's up to you. You could have news, latest news. You know, you could have a feed going in today. You could even have a scroll bar, which might look a bit weird, but you could do what you want. You don't wanna be showing that on the mobile because believe me, it does not look good. So here's what you wanna do. Go over to your desktop container, go to advanced, go down to where you have responsive and you wanna basically maybe say hide on the mobile. You might just show this on the desktop on the tablet. And then what you wanna do is kinda of make another copy or another version of this. So I'm just gonna duplicate for now, like that, really, really simple. I'm gonna call this one mobile. We'll go down to responsive mode. And we're gonna say hide this on the desktop and the tablet. I flick over to the mobile mode just so we can see what we've got going on here. Now this is where you might not show the same items. You know, you're probably not gonna show the word sidebar. You might have your logo, that's another thing. In the sidebar, you might have your logo at the top or you position it somewhere. And then over here with the mobile, obviously you rearrange it, space between or however you wanna do it. Obviously you will now activate the breakpoint because you do want the breakpoint to be visible. And the final thing is just go to your motion effect and decide if you are gonna have a sticky top. I mean, it kinda of makes sense that if you're gonna have a sticky sidebar almost 
forever on your screen on the sidebar, why wouldn't you want to do that? You will want to just make sure that you have only set it to be on the mobile, which it kind of doesn't matter too much because you're only going to be seeing this on the mobile anyway. But the idea is, is that is you'll have your mobile menu at the top there, which will appear how it needs to appear. But then when you get to the desktop, you're going to have a load more going on. And remember, like I said, it doesn't matter how big your screen is. If you've set it to be 200 pixel, you've got a wonderful sidebar now. And I've even added it to this page that you got a snippet of earlier. And look, there we have our sidebar. And it's another way of presenting things on your website without using any third-party plugins other than Elementor Pro. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that stack.